Genesis 21, verses 1 and 2 says, The Lord came to Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did for Sarah what he had promised. Sarah became pregnant and bore a son to Abraham in his old age at the appointed time God had told him. More than 25 years had passed since God called Abraham to leave his homeland, promising he would make a great nation of Abraham's descendants, give these descendants a special land, and bless the entire world through a future descendant. Still, Abraham's wife, Sarah, had not borne any children for Abraham. Despite being, Sarah being 90 years old and Abraham being 100 years old at the time, God kept his promise to give them a son. Although there were times when the promise seemed as though it would never come, God brought it about just as he had said he would in his own timing. Like with Abraham and Sarah, God has given people very great and precious promises today. However, while some of the promises to Abraham and Sarah were based on physical things, the promises God makes to us are primarily focused on spiritual things. Namely, God promises those who put their full trust in Him so as to obey Him the eternal home in heaven. However, this is not a promise that is fulfilled in a moment and requires patience. There are times when it may seem as though things will just always continue as they are. And during these times of waiting, our trust in God to keep His promise is put to the test. Today's response to hearing God's Word is this. Patiently wait on God to keep His promises. The only one who will receive the promises of God is the one who does not give up on God. This means that when temptations strike, you must choose to respond in a way that honors God above pleasing yourself. When trials and difficulties come, you must cling to your hope in God's promises like an anchor and not get distracted and driven away from Christ through the storms. When persecutions come for the sake of the gospel of Christ, you must embrace them as, a, as being a necessary part of the journey to heaven. In fact, no matter what may come in your life, you must continue to wait for God, knowing that He will keep His promises.